Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 18th, 2019. So, hey everyone, it is Friday. Congratulations, we made it through the week. Now we have to just make it through the day. <laughs> and we have an interesting morning forming this morning. And I want to talk about um, so what I, th I think might be something very bullish forming in these charts. Although it may be a little bit frustrating what you've been witnessing, and I'm going to go to a, a very short-term chart, a 15-minute chart, m even though it may be a little bit frustrating that we've just kind of been chopping sideways here in the market, I want to uh, tell you that there could be, uh, you know, a really nice silver lining forming here in the charts. Now, I certainly don't know this to be true yet, and I'm certainly not trying to predict um, the future. But when I look at this chart, I see um, a price resistance level that's held up really, really strong. And we keep banging our head against that resistance level and finding that all of a sudden the, the bulls have an unwillingness to push through and that the bears are up there defending. Well, one of the things I want to point out is this was a, a massive rally. We've had a huge rally here in the market um, all of a sudden, and that massive rally may just need a little bit of time to maybe rest in here and consolidate. And I think if we do consolidate in this range up here, that's actually a very bullish sign for the market. One of the things we've been plagued with here recently is just all of this nasty whip back and forth every day is a different thing and big price swings going on with lots and lots of emotion. If we can actually put together kind of a resting consolidation up in here, I see that as potentially very bullish. One of the things we need to do is allow some of these longer term averages maybe just to catch up and provide some price support underneath this price action. So if we have to rest here for a while, and if we just kind of settle in to a little bit of a resting mode, I think that could be a very, very bullish thing. Now, I'm also going to mention that we still have a tremendous amount of uncertainty that our market is dealing with, with uh, the trade situation and the so-called phase one deal that seems to be um, becoming more of a phase one fantasy at this moment, and um, a Brexit situation that um, could certainly stir things up this weekend. So we have all of that going on, and then we compound this with a uh, uh, the beginning of um, fourth quarter earnings, and what that the ramifications of that could certainly mean. So far, I would say fourth quarter earnings have by and large been pretty darn positive, and if that continues, then this con this resting consolidation up here could provide us with that nice launching pad, you know, right in here. If we wound around in here for a little while, held up in here, could provide that nice little b platform, that launching pl pad, to be able to attack these highs and confidently move up. So. I'm holding a kind of a bullish look on this, but we still, like I say, we still have those pitfalls out there that could certainly bring back a significant volatility and drop us um, right back down. So we have to remain flexible here in uh, the market and watch very carefully how, um, how all of this progresses. So let's take a look at the SPY, 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 very much the same thing, just kind of resting and, and hanging out up here around um, resistance levels. We've had this slight rally up, but we can see maybe that consolidation area may be forming in here. And a little bit of rest um, would be okay um, and, and actually very bullish. As a matter of fact, I would see that as more bullish right now than if the bulls just decided to just rip things higher here because I'm getting tired 
Uh, I would like to see a, a better construction in price action going on rather than all this emotional whip. Whether we'll get that, I don't know. That's what I'd like to see. And often the market doesn't give me anything about what I want. Um, it's, it's what is that matters. But if we were to rest in here, I don't see that as a bearish thing. So this little bit of caution that we're seeing in the market could be a good thing if, if we can just hang out up here, hold a range, build a little uh, platform, allow these longer averages to move up and support those prices um, and give us a little bit more confidence and a place to um, uh, advance from. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues um, much much stronger and they had a really good day um, initially yesterday with a, a strong pop-up and you can see we're very very close to attacking these highs but we also want to notice that our moving averages are really lagging way behind here and if we would would allow some time up here for just a little bit of rest that could certainly help us um, advance this market now of course earnings and and all of this political uncertainty um, can certainly change anything in in just uh, about half a second but it, it's nice to see that we're showing you know, a little bit of a normalcy coming into the market, not all the whip. And a little bit of rest um, might be just exactly what the doctor ordered. Taking a look at IWM. Now, IWM did a much better job than the rest of the market did yesterday. And there may be some signs of life here in IWM as we rally up to attack this overall downtrend in the chart if we can actually break through that and prove to hold it uh, you know we broke through here and proved not to hold it but if we can actually break through and prove to hold that as support then we might be able to get iwm working with the rest of the market and that will certainly help um, the indexes if we can get um, all four kind of moving in um, one direction so Let's watch that closely, and perhaps this may need to have a little bit of a rest up here after rallying pretty substantially over the last few days. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. There we are, the VIX continuing to show little to no fear here in the market. And when we take a look at support and resistance levels in this chart we're obviously well below this um, resistance level here showing uh, virtually no fear in the market we're holding uh, below this downtrend overall and if we take a look we've got a little bit of price support um, right through here if we if we saw this rally back up a little i don't know that it would hurt us if if the market were to rest or even pull back a little I don't think it's going to hurt us here because we just really don't have that major fear going on, which with the uncertainty out there uh, actually baffles me just a little bit. But it doesn't matter what I think. It's what the market is showing me. And um, right now it's showing us little to no fear in this market. It seems to be a very high confidence that we are going to eventually move higher. If that fear continues to diminish and drop down in here, um, we should be in pretty good shape for more upside in the market. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, we're pushing toward that upside. It, it tells us that we have more upside potential. And right now futures are improving just a little bit this morning as earnings roll out. But we're looking at kind of a cautious open this morning ahead of um, this Brexit weekend that could create, well, we don't know what it could create, to tell you the truth, whether they'll pass it or not pass it. And 
and there could be a little bit of a turmoil going on this weekend and then of course we still have to deal with our trade situation that seems to be really in flux so watching um watching this we do have an opportunity uh, we still have plenty of upside room here um, in T2122 to move on higher should the market decide to do that on Friday. But we also want to remember that we have a pretty pretty sizable downside potential. But I don't think, I, I, I'm not seeing, um, well, first off, I'm seeing a lot of tenaciousness in the bulls. And I'm not seeing the bears um, really have a whole lot to hold on to right now. So even if we do pull back a little bit, I would guess it would be more of a resting pullback. Um, but right now we're still uh, pushing hard, trying to uh, uh, maintain that bullishness. And who knows, it may push right on through uh, before the weekend. So let's watch that close. We have upside moves here um, that could be uh, possible yet today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Our economic calendar definitely has a few things um, uh, to think about today, but really nothing that's likely to move the market um, overall today, unless we hear something new from this parade of Fed speakers today, which I think is probably unlikely, um, then we really have nothing on our economic calendar to really worry about um, uh, as we head into uh, the weekend. So kind of keep that in mind, kind of a light weekend or, or a light Friday, um, honestly, except for that, those Fed speakers. Um, if we take a look um, at our earnings calendar, we have quite a few companies reporting earnings today. And um, looking at the calendar, there's about 37 companies reporting. Um, we will hear from companies like um, AXP this morning. It looks like AXP has reported bullishly and is gapping up this morning. We will hear from some consumer defensives like Coca-Cola. looks like Coke may have, eh, it's hard to say. I don't, I'm not sure they've reported yet. Um, that reports today. A few other banks and things like that um, reporting this morning. We'll hear from uh, Schlumberger, one of our first oil companies to report. Um, can't tell. It didn't look like that's reported yet. So um, we'll have to watch those as we go throughout the morning and see how they might affect the overall market. Uh, keep in mind, everyone, that we still have um, um, oh, the weekend ahead with the uncertainties out there. So you want to be careful and plan um, carefully how you want to approach your weekend, how much risk you want to carry into the weekend um, with some of these uncertainties out there. So let's take a look um, and some stocks that may be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are, are not to predict. They are not to, uh, you know, add to the hype that you might see in other places, but to really look at the technicals and think about the details of the market, the things that might affect the market, and uh, provide um, a little bit uh, more focused attention to how we might want to approach the day. And if you find this helpful, please uh, click those thumbs up buttons, uh, leave a comment. That helps me out a ton, continues this channel uh, growing, and I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are just awesome. Um, thank you so much. Uh, for everyone who does that, it's it's truly humbling to uh, see the responses uh, to these videos. I, I I really really appreciate it. So let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up, and a few things that we might want to be paying attention to. Now remember, any chart I show you is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just merely. Um, uh, a, a look at some charts that you might want to put on your watch list, do an evaluation and decide if, if those kind of trades are for you. Let's take a look um, at Roku here. Now Roku has had 
quite a strong move up. I think Roku needs a little bit of rest. I, I had actually placed an alert here. I was kind of hoping that this would kind of move sideways here for a little bit, give us more of a platform, but moving up strongly here. So what we need in Roku, we have this nice little trend moving higher breaking higher, probably going to run into some resistance here very, very quickly. And then if we can get a rest, some consolidation, even a little pullback, that may set up an opportunity in Roku. I don't want to chase this move. Um, that's uh, something I used to do years and years ago. It cost me a lot of money chasing into moves like that and uh, would in, uh, end up buying them right about the place where they would pull back. So let's keep an eye on Roku. It's certainly acting uh, much better here, moving up strongly overall. Take a look at um, Nike. Nike performing really, really well. I've talked about these retailers um, this week and how retail has been really, really strong um, and holding in really nice patterns. And you can see Nike after consolidating for just three days popping up above my alert now i think there's still a possibility um, if the market does consolidate that this may rest a little bit more up here before it goes on higher but nike should be on your list and is certainly holding up very very strong looking very good take a look at home depot home depot has been doing very very uh, nicely holding up really really strong and it also popped through my alert yesterday ended up with a little bit of a pullback and i think it, once again i think there may be a little bit more of a chance that this could rest in here before it goes on higher but something that we would want to maybe keep an eye on, uh, put on a list and watch for that next potential trade. Take a look at Target. Whoops. There we go. Target. Target trying to um, move on higher here in a nice little resting consolidation. By the way, I call this a pop out of the box and a pop out of the box requires a minimum of four days in a very tight consolidation. It can be more than four days, but it requires a minimum of four days. And then I place an alert up there and wait for that trade to pop through. And um, Target made that move yesterday and is looking very good, very strong showing some strength here and overall trending higher so we might want to keep an eye on uh, target how about costco costco popped its box yesterday nice little five days in a, a tight little consolidation uh, gave us a clue here i call this a pattern right here in the pop out of the box a springboard gave it uh, gave it that first spring to be able to pop out of this box and we moved up nicely yesterday um, looking really good and I would suspect Costco is going to move on up challenge these higher levels it's a big deal when we can pop a big round number like 300 we pop through it if we can hold up here Costco looks strong and overall trend in Costco is very strong so even a little rest consolidation pullback or something into here looks very good as long as we can hold above 300 in that chart so overall i like that chart quite a bit take a look at um, stocks like dollar general dollar general strong uh, moving up in this trend um, uh, excuse me dollar tree and dollar general um, that was dollar tree before this is dollar general doing that little pop out of the box type pattern could be pushing itself on higher here soon we might want to keep an eye on that other charts like lw take a look at this lw lw i've shown this a few times lw what a beautiful trend here moving up in a very um deliberate you know move you know pattern we just move up and rest move up and rest and all the cues on this trade come right off trend and we have that cue right here that cue that we're gonna um 
we're showing bullishness wanting to break higher here lw looking very very good so lots of things to look at in the market one of the things i want to caution you on is just chasing too many trades into this weekend but there certainly are quite a few of these stocks showing up and that little consolidation that i was talking about in the indexes is really starting to show up in some of these stocks take a look at docu holding this nice trend and just kind of moving back over to the trend and you can see my price alert up here waiting on that chart to see whether or not that can pop on through so everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits in your trading and if you're struggling as a trader please i i, I want to encourage you to stick with it um you know trading is a tough business it really is a tough business and make no mistake everyone it is a business and we have to treat it as that there are uh, things that we need to be doing um, that every normal business does and that's planning and focusing on the right things um, in our trading so if you are struggling i want to encourage you to stick with it Can, i think we're we're very very close we're, we're very, very close to correcting um, some of this volatility and um, earnings are, could help us with that and we could get back into a better, a better um, price action move. So everyone take care of yourself. I want to wish you all the best this weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a good one, everyone.